Greetings everybody, welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the Grand Daddy plays Curse of the Dead Gods. Let's see if we find something truly, truly interesting and exciting in here. As you can see, we don't. <laughs> As per usual, this beer has some cleansing on it, so I'm gonna pick it up. Maybe I'm gonna keep it around for a little while longer, we will see. We will cross that bridge when we come to it. Now... I think we are due for one of the Jaguar events, is that right? Should be. We got the Cursed Archer. I think we're gonna do the Cursed Archer because we haven't done that one in a hot while. Now I do know that there will be no weapon upgrade rooms on this course. That much is evident as you look at this. Um... It's kinda cute to just look at the map, this gives me a very, very vintage feeling. From a time where there were no weapon upgrade rooms in the first place. You were just looking at weapon rooms, relic rooms, and set increase rooms. And there's not even weapon rooms in here if you look at it even closer. So we should end up being decently powerful in here. And I'm looking forward to that. So, I think we're gonna go for this path over here. Two stat increase rooms. I want them. And I also want to see what kind of passes we will have on our Annihilation Bow. Let's check that out really, really quick. Annihilation bow. Give it to me, baby. There it is. Oh, extra damage. Oh my god, it's the worst. It is the legitimate worst. I have... Guys, I have no words for how bad this is. I have no words. So, we get extra base damage for every cursed weapon we have equipped. But we can't even equip another cursed weapon in here. Guys. We get... 10 of our gold coins subtracted every time we attack. And because of the nature of this challenge, I actually f remember this. We also get one point of corruption every time we attack. Ooh! I have some regrets about this already. I do have a handful of regrets. Okay, this is gonna be... This is gonna be extra awkward. We need to pick up as much money as we can. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I think the last time I played this challenge, the bow was not this bad. I think the last time I played this challenge, I got something like... Increased damage for each curse I carry. I think that's what it was. And it was okay. That is actually perfect for the way this challenge is setting itself. Oh, I can't fire you like that. It's actually perfect for the way this challenge is set up, because you actually do get a lot of... That's actually kinda cute, let's pick it up. Free curses in here, just by virtue of the fact that you're attacking. But still! Oh man, we are in for a rough time. But we will make it through here. We will have to make it through here. On the bright side, not being able to even get any kind of... Weapon upgrade room means that we will have naturally a much, much lesser degree of actually wanting to get money in the first place. And then we get a gleaming sapphire immediately jeopardizing everything I just said. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, so now we want to get rich again, so we better not die trying. Thanks to the darkness relic we picked up earlier. We actually have enough damage to one-shot these guys now, which is very, very good. Those traps are an annoyance, but that crit damage for free is very, very nice. Keep moving, keep going. And over here we have you, my friends. Oh. One good thing is, because this is a challenge, we are not playing this on the hardest difficulty, thus the enemies are not as tanky as they could be. That's actually also kind of nice. Give it to me. And our greed combo is already chugging along nicely, so we may make it out of your life. I gotta say, in general, we have a lot more money than I feel like we should have had. Hang on a second. Do we actually lose 10 coins every time we shoot? Is that a thing? Let me double check that in a moment. Because we have definitely much more money than we should have. Well, you know, on the other hand, with the bow, you're actually not shooting as much, right? Yeah, we still lose 10 coins every time we do that. 
crazy. We can actually one-shot most enemies, so we will lose money, but we will lose not that much money, so I guess it kind of evens out. It's still dreadful, absolutely dreadful. But hey, we're gonna make it work in some way, shape or form. Um, that powder keg, I want that powder keg to be gone. I just wanted to have a little bit of a safe space in here. Just a little bit of a safe space in here. I almost eliminated myself there, almost. But that was pretty, pretty good. That money is going to keep us going for a long, long time. And also just gave us a lot of damage thanks to that Gleaming Sapphire. Now another stand increase room. Hopefully gonna be good. Hopefully gonna be the greatest we have ever seen. Now who's here? It's you. It's you. It's you as well. Didn't even need to see him. I knew he was there. All along. There was no way out for him. Now open up this thing over here. We could have also opened this up with our wall. But that would have cost me 10 gold coins. Ain't nobody got money for that. Now, next room. This guy dies. This guy dies. This guy dies. Oh. This man... Is also going to... No! What? What even was in my way? What, e what even was there? Oh, the flamethrower trap! I thought I had a clean shot, but the flamethrower trap was my way. No way! That just happened. There is no way! I resent that. Like, over here, I was standing probably in this niche and was shooting the trap. Oh, that, that annoys me to no end. That actually does annoy me to no end. Crazy! I probably could have seen that, I could have played around that, and I just didn't because the idea never occurred to me that that could be a thing. Never occurred to me that that could be a thing that could happen in that scenario, in that situation. It's crazy. Oh, maximum stamina. You know what? I'm gonna take that one up for the moment. Helps me just blast through my enemies a bit faster. And then, and then, and then, boss fight time. Now, I don't even know if he can drop his cursed weapon in here or not, even if it's just for the recycle. But I'm more than... You son of a gun. I am more than willing and able to find out. Oh, got one cat. And we got all of the cats. Now, just you and me, big boy. Got the parry there. Dodge that one out entirely. Now we just keep on damaging him. Sadly, we do not get the extra damage while standing in the dark. But that's fine. Combat resolved. Now, let's see what he's going to give us in terms of free droplets in here. I don't think there actually can be any weapons dropped down in here. That's actually pretty, pretty tempting. But I do want those three points of perception. Um, extra damage against weakened targets, probably, actually, potentially gonna be interesting against the final boss more than anything else. Oh, I'm gonna take it. Some more perception just to keep us going. And if we keep it around until the final boss, we will get some amazing free damage against him. Now, we got some relic rooms up in here. I'm actually kind of interested more in that stat increase over that, but let's go for the relics. You know, we have all of our... Recycle still going. We may as well put them to work. Now, let's see what we can get done in here. There's my enemies. One shot. Boom. There's also just a pretty, pretty high chance that some enemies will be set on fire naturally. And every time that happens, we will get a lot of free weakening off in here. So that's gonna be nice. Our greed combo rising up again. We're actually making it to almost 10k, which is very, very good. Come on. Thank you. There's a healer, man. Don't get hit by this guy. Splendid. Done. Marvelous and wonderful, and there's a lot of free droplets for me. Um, Actually kind of tempting. I'm going to take it. Yeah, I'm going to take it. 
And this one over here, a small gleaming sapphire, it is. Yeah, I think with as much money we have, it's probably gonna be better than this one, so let's take it. Probably could have also left something else behind for that, but why bother? No favor usage. We don't have any poison effects in your game. If the game goes as far and takes away... Well, that's huge. Potential weapon drops that you can't even use. The game should go the extra mile and also eradicate relics that you can't get in this. Or can't use in this. But uh, that's just wish that's just wishful thinking coming from me. On the bright side, we got a very, very good relic there, so I'm happy. I'm very happy about that. And as you can see, that extra damage is pretty, pretty good. I don't think we're gonna need that one, so just take the cleanse. Good relic. But we have a lot of range on our attacks. So we should be fine one way or another. Like this. Just snipe them from a safe distance. Boom, baby. It's going up much, much better than I initially thought it would. And I'm very happy about that. Where's the next one? There. Interrupted you, my man. My boy. Dodge that one. Standing in the light. Standing in the dark. We really do want you not to stand in the dark as much as possible. That is not going to do anything for me, game. Oh, a huge chunk for dark damage. It's interesting, but... There will be much more situations where it's not going to be useful than the other way around. So I'm going to keep rolling. We get another Gleaming Sapphire. Let's go. Let's absolutely go. And I'm going to leave behind. Let's leave this one behind immediately. Just grab the damage and feel good about yourself. There will be much more opportunities where it counts where we will stand in the light instead of the dark. I will also replace a darkness village we got going on in here eventually. I should have just not turned this on. Luckily I can switch it off on demand. Which is very nice. No oh, way! What? Oh, I don't even know what happened there. Something happened and I hated it. I thought, I, I have to look at the recording later online. I thought I had a clean shot and then I did not have a clean shot and I hated that an awful, awful lot. It's crazy. But it's fine. We are still over 10k, we just have to rebuild the greed combo again. Every time you play with the Annihilation Bow, Annihilation Bow, what a rough word, you know that you have to be extra careful around using it close to your enemies. Boom. We're still in one-shot territory, so we are fine. Absolutely fine. We can two-shot these guys, so that's good. I have to make a quick run in here, that's for sure. Because there is a chest waiting for me, and I know that I want it. There you go. That's cute. But I think at this point, I'd rather not. We actually have a pretty, pretty potent damage relic in each and every one of our slots. Not for you, big boy. Who is actually a lady. Oh, that was a good shot. We got both of them at the same time, again. We don't use whips, so thanks for the healing. And we do not intend to take any more damage in here, so thanks for the free cleansing. And I do intend to take all of these stats, so thanks for offering. Tamok and Sichal's favors. And, yeah, I want this question mark room over here. I wonder if the question mark rooms in here can still end up being weapon rooms or weapon upgrade rooms. Doesn't seem to be the case, but let it be known that I am very appreciative of the fact that this is gonna be another challenge room. For I like free money. Good stuff, enough for you. And we also got another droplet in here, not gonna care about that. There we go, look at all this delicious money. 15,000. We are getting the money on a very good rate because of the very structure of the run right now. No weapon rooms, no weapon upgrade rooms means that we just get naturally a lot more gold rooms and a lot more challenge rooms. And the fact that we actually don't exactly spam Orbo 
We are more like efficient snipers in here. We are basically a Seymour Heia right now. Building up our impressive kill score over a very short amount of time. While also being very efficient with our ammunition. And ammunition in this case is <laughs> literally our money. So, now, let's see over here. Boom, baby. Boom, baby again. And one more time. I knew he was there without knowing that he was there. And two free point of dexterity. Bless it. I don't think we're gonna need any healing in here. I think we should be fine without any of that green number stuff. And that is ignoring that healing in this game is actually not even green numbers, it's red numbers. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this one behind now. For sure. The big daddy gleaming sapphire. How could I or anyone say no to that? Immediate extra 60% damage. We're gonna put it to good use against this boss. And we're gonna feel like a million bucks. Now. One shot. Two shots. Three shots. Four shots. Five shots. We can just keep shooting. We can't! Oh! We ran out in range of that! Some garbage. Some garbage. 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 What's the point of using a range weapon when you're actually not even in range of getting some honest to god good shots in? Doesn't matter. Great parry there, by the way. He almost ran into me close enough so that that shot would have also hit me. Doesn't matter. We won. Son of a gun. Now, my reward. There is a small gaming sapphire. We could use it instead of the darkness damage because it would be a bit more. Oh, forget about it. We just take the free crit damage and here call it a day. And yeah, immediately recycle this one for some money. Yeah, I think in terms of relics, we are super, super sad right now. Two big crit relics, one big gleaming sapphire, two medium-sized ones. We have one small one. That one can still replace, so that's actually something to be on the lookout for. But aside from that... Aside from that, we are... Absolutely Gucci. And what's crazy is that even with all of those... Oh man, I actually have to shoot these open, huh? That even with all of these relics, the damage we're dealing right now feels like it is a far cry from what it used to be... ...long ago. There's some free money over here, we may as well pick it up too. And then we're gonna go back to shooting some fools. I actually don't want these traps around there. Easy money, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Gotcha. We actually don't want to spam shoot with this weapon at all. Just because it would spike our corruption. It's amazing that we kept our corruption as small as it is, considering that each and every one of our shots is increasing it by one point. But to me, that kinda serves as a testament for how mostly efficient we have been about all of our shooting efforts. That and we also got some pretty pretty decent recycles here and there that ended up working in our favor. Now, healing that we don't need. Thank you very much. We actually had full HP. Nice. One more stat increased room. Here's me hoping for dexterity and perception again. Just because it's fun. And because I don't think that we are actually going to need all the endurance we piled up in here. Oh. Not quite there we can one-shot these sealers, but it's not a lot of damage we are missing out in that regard. We will be there before too long. One-shotting the cats feels amazing though, and there's darkness damage again. I think one way or another this is gonna be better than this gleaming sapphire in here. I'm still not taking it, because we are going to get something better later down the line regardless. So I want to benefit from the two points of perception up until that point more than I want to from the points of dexterity we could have gotten. Playing the long game, you know? I think we haven't seen... Hang on a second, have you seen any perception from any of these shrines? Let me double check. Two... Nine... Yeah, we have seen some, but not much. I think most of the shrines we have seen were perception and endurance. Uh, no, not perception. Dexterity and endurance. Oh. That was bad shooting. That was very, very bad shooting. There's one more left alive. But not for long. I will see to that. 
got them all. I think at this point, we have accumulated so much money that we can absolutely just afford to... Ooh, that's actually nice. That's actually kind of sexy, I gotta say. But I'm still going to not take it. Oh, no, no, not today. Um, what was I about to say? We have so much money accumulated, we absolutely could pull off the idea of just waste away all of our shots. But, you know, be cautious. You don't know when something unforeseeable happens, which will actually just end up jeopardizing our financial situation. It's always better to keep your finances in control and in check, instead of spending your money in a very, very obscene manner. Financial advice of Teddy DeGrand, there we go. Never let it be said that I don't provide honest to God value for you guys. Now. Next up, next up, next up over here. There you are. Boom, baby, shut you down. Got a free drop up in there again. And one more for you. We're gonna get a curse after this. Oh, yeah, we're getting one. We're still getting one. Oh, hello there. You actually spooked me. Didn't see you coming. I'm gonna kill the rest of the enemies in this room as well. Just on the off chance... You actually suppressed me that kitty cat. Just on the off chance we actually end up getting some more good random drops, which does not seem to be the case. But our money is very, very good. 20,000, my god. 20,000 is very, very good. Back when the Gleaming Sapphires had... 100% expert damage as their upper limit, not set at 10k money. This would have been a pretty comfortable money to just be sitting around at. Oh. He was out of range. That's fine. Get me out of here. Got the parry there. Boom. Very, very good. Enough for you. For you. And we're through. And we get one more relic. Is it gonna be good? It's not, but free perception for the last few rooms, giving us even more money and even more drops. It's gonna be very, very nice. Oh, you know what I just realized? We actually don't get... I have to double check that in a moment. I think we actually don't get 20... Uh, corruption every time we leave a room, is that right? I think that may be the case. I have to double check in a moment. Boom, baby, 400 run damage, let's go. Not for you, big boy. Three shot. That guy's gonna take a little bit more work off the bow. So did that guy. And the lady did not take much work at all. I have to be observed when I leave this room. In a moment. These are not good. Oh, and we get one more big daddy gleaming sapphire. The dream. And we still have two more relic rooms and two more rewards on our hands. So there's a chance that we can also replace this gleaming sapphire for something better. We'll see if that will come around. And yeah, we actually do not get any corruption from a room to room basis. Literally just realized that. If I would have picked up any of the corruption reducing relics early on, we probably would have gone through this entire run without a single curse. Maybe next time. We'll contemplate about that next time we end up playing this challenge. All of my shots dealing. I think I'm about 50 more damage than before, which is very, very nice. And the money still coming at us at a steady pace. I think we can all agree. This run is basically... Basically won and over at this point. But we're going to see it all through until the very end. By the way, the curse we got is actually not even that problematic for me. Oh, that was an obstacle in the way. I am not having that. And more enemies up in here. These are gonna be annoying probably, right? Are you gonna be annoying? You look pretty annoying to me. Oh, the interrupt. Did you enjoy that? You better did. There you are, the last one with the healer in his back. Never stood a chance. Oh, don't get stuck on the bomb. And the final relic shop. Still even the final one. I think, we, I think we still have one more after this one, right? But there was nothing in here, so we just leave. 
check out the last one, and then it's boss fight time. I think we will have a pretty good handle on the boss fight. The guy will not know what hit him. Only kinda will, I think. We are not exactly in territory, we can just go and absolutely one-shot the guy. I wonder if it's possible to one-shot a boss. I have seen some truly, truly ridiculous numbers pop in in this game here and there. I wonder if it is possible to actually just go and one-shot a boss. Kill a boss in one attack. Ah, uh, yeah, we can't use these. We can use this one, though. But I don't think it's gonna be better than one of the Gleaming Sapphires we have on hand. Like, if you stand in the darkness, this one will be better than this one. But this one is just better unconditionally, so... I don't care, let's go. Okay, here's, here's a thought experiment. I think... I feel like I have to share that on the Discord. Someone's probably crazy enough to try that out. I think if you go for the easiest Jagger exploration... You may be able to do that. But you have to be super, super lucky with your relic drops. And you need to have the perfect weapon for that from the very, very beginning. Ah, but even then it's gonna be very, very close. I don't know. I do not quite know about that. Oh, no. I was actually wanting to parry that one, but I didn't. Also don't want to stand in there. Now he's on fire, though. Now we get the three weakenings. Which is gonna be splendid. Halfway through. He's gonna explode. Oh, man, we did not need to lose our greed combo there when we did. I think we also don't really need to do some parry work in here. Because he's almost done. He is done. But yeah, very, very short exploration in the Jaguar Temple. Easiest difficulty. And you start with something like a, a fire shield or a lightning shield. That gets crit damage on the offhand combo. And then you have to miss with the first attack, but then hit the offhand combo for the crit. While you also have a lot of good relics and a lot of damage potential going on. I think it could happen. But it would be incredibly difficult. How was it difficult was this run? We absolutely rocked it. And I thank you all for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next video. But until then, please do have the greatest of days and stay as awesome as you are.